What is happening, Snap Tribe? I'm Zach. I'm Jip. And so we, it is Monday, while we're filming this, uh, we just had an awesome weekend. Uh, my dad came down um, with my stepmom and my half-sister, and we had a great weekend, uh, spending time with them, pools, fires, all that fun stuff. Yeah, they still live back in our old town, so it was about a two-hour drive for them, but we had a really good time. Yeah, they were was, busy, and it was just fun. Yeah, and it's never long enough, right? Yeah. Um, but it's the memories we take in are worth uh, the leaving, unfortunately. Um, but it's back to work now. Um, so first off, little, what do they, well, I always screw up with that word, like house, ground rules, not rules, but like, you know what I'm trying to say? No. Well, whatever. Um, we have new merch. Um, so it is out. We talked about it in the last video, but we didn't actually like let y'all know it's out there. So there's like five or six new designs. One, if you remember the crawl did story, we have a, all these come in stickers, but you can also get them in shirts. Um, and then we even have some coffee mugs too that are with the same one. So whatever you're feeling, um, they're out there. But we have a crawl did one. We have two Stive Tribe ones. So we haven't had those yet. So if you're a Stive Tribe member, whether you're an actual member or if you are just in the Facebook group or feel as if you're part of the Stive Tribe, uh, we have one that's a little bit more on the feminine side that's really pretty, gardening, mm -hmm. it's very beautiful. Then we have another one if you fellas or anyone decide that you would like a Sasquatch one. So there's a Stive Tribe with a big Sasquatch on it. Um, which is really cool, and then a couple others that are out there. So go check that out. It's on our website, thestivershomestead.com. If you want to jump straight to it, just do a backslash shop, and that'll take you right there. But yeah. all that's in there, um, and hopefully you enjoy them. Yeah, so that supports us, so thank you for that. And it's just really cool for y'all to be wearing Stop Drop stuff around and hopefully meet other people that have it too and just be able to support us in a way and also have cool stuff. Yeah, and the last thing to note, we're not like doing like a limited edition. However, we do start taking some of the old merch off just mm -hmm. so there's not like 25 pages of merch. Yeah. So if you're into like at least the stickers, you know, definitely go get those because they probably won't be there forever as we bring out new merch. Yeah. So of course, after a nice relaxing weekend of sun, the first day back is like back to work, ran. <laughs> um, so we're hoping it's just like those humidity pop summer storms because I've got to build a little ladder for the guineas. However, you might have a little time here with us in the kitchen. Yeah, that was cooking, day of cooking, day in the life kind of thing to show you around. And yeah, all the animals are doing good. I don't know that you'll see them much on this video because it is raining and they're hiding in their coops, but the yeah. guineas are doing really well. They're now out in the yard. Mm -hmm. um, our meat chickens are doing awesome. We are actually ending that this weekend, which yeah, we have some week. more friends coming this weekend, which is gonna be really cool. And you will get to see those. Um, so yeah, this weekend is meat chicken butchering time. So we're getting ready for that and getting prepared. Um, all the barn animals are doing great. Goats are doing great and we're still milking. So yeah, just a whole lot of animal stuff. Yeah. And uh, you know, I know meat chickens and that butchering day, it's a little sensitive to some and this and that. So we will do a video about it. Um, however, we won't show like the, the thing. So if you're still wanting to learn how to do it, it won't be too, too graphic for you, uh, but it will give you the tutorial on how to do it. Yep. Right, let's do this. Um, you thaw bacon and sausage a little bit. There's one there and there's one in there, so there is enough for the bagels. So you just want to go that route? Okay, so let's do it. What am I talking about? <laughs> I'll talk. <laughs> uh, just face it, though. So, the kids already had breakfast. They had, well, Wyatt had Cheerios and goat milk, because that's what he eats every day. He's yep. an 80 year old man. And <laughs> Raylan had, what'd she have? She actually had a Pop Tart today because okay. we need, whenever we have like visitors over, grocery store like gets a little bit put yeah. behind. So, she didn't have any of her breakfast stuff. So, she yeah. had a Pop Tart. But she was happier with that. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> definitely wasn't disappointed. <laughs> yeah. And we're having bagels and fruit. Yeah. So super easy. Someone needs to go to the grocery. <laughs> 
Look at those microgreens. Isn't that cool? So when Zach's dad was here, they actually were not up. And by the time they left, they looked like this. So how cool is that? Very fast. We love doing microgreens. They're such a fast sprout. And we'll be harvesting these in no time and then starting more. All right. Breakfast is done. And we're on the new week of the chore list. And the kids have been doing great with it. So Jen had this good idea because we give them a dollar a day if they complete all their chores on there. Um, and so she got them two little mason jars and they put the dollar in it and it allows them to save up to realize what they can get if they save their money up instead of just stashing it wherever they're stashing it. Um, so it's pretty cool. They're really excited and really enjoying it. Did good, babe. I did, I know. So on top of the microgreens, our actual like cold crops that we're trying to grow in our salad, our lettuce, has sprouted as well. So these are a lot less seeds in here um, because they will get bigger, but um, we'll just keep taking the top up as they grow so they don't get too leggy. Um, and then we'll just start clipping and cutting and eating all them too. All right, y'all, I just thought about this. <clears throat> Go back in your think tank when we first moved here. Um, we, did, we talked about it on a lot. We talked about this stinking couch here. Um, so my vision when we moved in here was going to have like a little couch over here and like a sitting area with like two cute chairs because our living room is pretty good size, but it's also kind of small in how it's set up. And we have like the fireplace and this huge window that's behind you all. So it really makes it hard to like have a big old couch everywhere. Well, my wife loves big comfy stuff. And I got to tell you one thing, y'all were very sweet to not call out how big this thing is. So thank you for that. That was very nice. Um, well, my wife comes to me when my dad and uh, stepmom are here and she goes, I think I want a small couch over there and two sitting chairs right here and I want to get rid of this couch. I looked at her and I swear and I could have burned a hole through her eyeballs. <laughs> I said, oh, now we're on to my idea. So explain it, baby. Explain what you're thinking. I don't, yeah. So I was actually looking at old pictures of the house and the way that it was set up, it was just so much more roomier and to have smaller furniture and then a, like a small dining room table over here, like a rectangle table, not a circle table. It just makes more sense. So it might sound wasteful, but it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be, because this is actually so me. Because when she brought this up, I said, we are going to sit on that couch until it falls, falls apart. <laughs> it's here until it no longer can physically be here. But then. Yeah, so I had an idea. I was like, well, we can put this couch in the White House, the, the house that's behind us that we're buying. We're still in process of Because buying. we're going to have to buy furniture for that anyway. So we can just put this couch in there and then get us a new couch and two sitting chairs and a rectangle table. <laughs> well, I guess it works because we do need furniture up there. So our table and this couch can go to the White House and still be very used. So <laughs> just thought that was quite funny and thought maybe y'all'd get a laugh from that as well. So now I'm shopping. <laughs> With my original idea. Yeah. Yep. So just to give you the visual, like couch here, cute chair, cute chair, maybe table in the middle. But then we got this big old honking thing right here. Yep. 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 <laughs> All right. I promise we're going to get out of this house soon, but it's pouring down rain. So it's lunchtime. Raylan's having some mac and cheese, apple and grapes. What, what are you having? I'm having this. Carrots. Peanut butter sandwich that's cut up with the crust off. And he had some spicy hot fan stage pickles that he loves so much. Yeah. Now, for the lunch of champions. What are you having, babe? Pork flavor. Pork flavor ramen. And I'm I, not a fat but I love ramen and I don't care. Yeah, we sure got the college part of it hanging out of us. And now I'm having a leftover hamburgers and fries from last night. Yeah, you're eating out the best of all of us. I think so. <laughs> okay, the skies have finally dried. Um, so here in Kentucky, we are humid, but we're not like our more southern friends and neighbors below us. Um, it gets bad, but it's not like Georgia, Mississippi, Louisiana bad by no means. So this week is a little unconditional. Um, especially this time of year being so humid, but it does provide the pop-up showers, which are a really good thing for the garden out back there, which I promise y'all, garden tour's coming, as soon as we can get out here long enough to not get rained on. Um, and we'll should probably show you a little bit here. However, I have got to build a ladder um, for the guinea house, which we'll go up there and show it here in just a minute, but they're out now. Well, when they're out now, they need a way to get easily back in because it's easy to fly out, not so easy to get back in, right? So what I'm gonna build is not for humans. It's not gonna be stairs um, because I haven't been able to get to a lumber mill or lumber yard 
um, and actually start getting the stuff I need for that. So I'm repurposing some wood that we have to just build a little ladder. It's gonna kind of look like a roost. I guess you'd probably say that ladder's up and I'm not gonna bolt it down to the corn crib, which is what it actually is. Um, that way it'll be movable for when we do have steps for adults, but this will work in the meantime. So let's get on it. Wait till y'all see the growth in this garden. You're probably a hundred yards away and look how big them plants are. Y'all, it's too humid for my brain to work right. What did I tell you? I'm building this for guineas, not for humans. Well, what did I do? Go freaking walk on the daggone thing and fall through it. It's like, oh, maybe it'll hold me. I don't know, I'll try it. That's a wrong idea, so now I gotta fix it. <laughs> All right, there is my redneck ladder for the guineas to get up into their coop after I fall through it. Ain't nothing pretty. It's just pine fencing boards, but it's plenty for them to get up in their coop. I'm hot. Sweating bullets. <laughs> my goodness. So my leg, thankfully I'm fine. I didn't get hurt at all in that fall, but I did fall. It was really sort of wild. Yeah, it probably, it's, it did the scrapey scrape, you know? So that's <laughs> always fun. Um, but it is hot around here. It's humid. Uh, very humid. I was telling them that it's not like our area to be this humid. Yeah. That's more of y'all Mississippi, Louisiana people to have this kind of stuff. Um, y'all keep it, <laughs> take it back. <laughs> but it does make it hard to work um, when it comes into this humidity, when you're not used to it. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water, Make sure when you say that you're gonna build a ladder that is for one pound guineas, that you don't try to walk on it. Uh, um, but it was a good day, nonetheless, to get some work done, to get that done for the guineas so they have an easy access up. Um, we enjoyed time inside. Mm -hmm. We also had some just really interesting phone calls and all that good stuff that one day we'll get into. <laughs> um, but I think that's it for today. Yeah, I think so. The sun's out now, so it's nice, besides the humidity, but good to see the sun at least. I'm about to go jump in that pool. <laughs> <laughs> but we love you all. I mean, go check out the merch. That stuff supports us and helps us out more than you can imagine. Yes. And there will be salves very soon. Yes, yes. We are making those one day this week. <laughs> <laughs> right, we love you all. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.